Hi guys, XYZ Designs here with another Photoshop tutorial, and today it's the sh Tilt Shift uh, Toy Effect, I think, yeah, sh um, Tilt Shift Toy Effect, and uh, this is it right here, this is our final product, which uh, we hopefully should be making, and um, this is what it was like before, and this is after, and basically the effect is to make... Um, so the cars and the people and the buildings in the picture to look like it's sort of on a um, sort of look like it's toys and like little models uh, placed on like a a board no not a board um, placed on something like the toys or whatever oh whatever and uh, <clears throat> and basically um, staff doing this I'll just delete these two layers like that and uh, this channel here like that and um, now first of all what you're going to need to do is uh, um, click click on your background and click control J which will uh, duplicate it or you can just drag it down to the new layer like that and um, that'll basically just dupli du dupli oh, I, can't, I can't talk to you um, duplicate yeah that's a duplicate du oh, whatever copy it and um, so that'll be layer one like this and then what you're going to need to do is come over to your uh, foreground and background colors and make sure if you want to see this five you click this little black thing here and I'll make the top one uh, black and the and the background color white just keep that like that and go over to your gradient and if you can't find it you're probably on paint bucket just hold and uh, go along to gradient tool and now if you click up here you should be on uh, this one the first preset which should be black to white make sure you're not on black to transparent so then just click OK like that and now if you click on layer one and just click this uh, mask tool down here like that and if you go channel that'll be the quick mask so um, now if you make if you go over to channel and make sure you select on quick mask and go over to gradient make sure in gradient and you're just gonna pick a point which you want to focus on and I'm just gonna focus on this uh, yellow um, taxi here so I'm just going to go for say there and now if you um, hold shift while doing it it'll make a exact straight line and just drag up to where you want um, the blur to go so the center of it where you started from will be completely in focus and then wherever you want it to go say here that's where it will go blurred so that should make just a red line like that don't worry now if you select the blue and uh, hold shift and go up to RGB that selects all of them go over to filter blur and lens blur now if you click on that this should look like this it should do this automatically if it doesn't then you go over to source depth map source quick mask and that's our mask with the gradient on it and as you can see this line here of where we selected is in focus and um, everything else is blurred and it sort of feathers into um, the focus now if you go over to radius you can um, say uh, say how much you want it to be blurred so if you do 10% that's what it'll look like if you do 15% so, um, so yeah uh, if you do 20 percent let's see what, what will that look like I think that's 120 don't want that and um, 20 percent that looks alright I'm just gonna do see, let's 18 you want it so you can make out what's in the blurriness um, but still have it blurred really so uh, yeah that's looking fine maybe one more percent like that and then just click OK and that will just apply lens blur and um, you'll probably still have this red uh, gradient thing here so if you just go over to quick mask and 
unhide that like that there you go that's uh, basically the trick to making it look like it's toys um, but there is something which you can do to make it look even more uh, like toys or um, yeah toys or models or whatever just um, make sure layer one selected and go over to this like half black half white semicircle circle thing just click on that and go up to hue and saturation that bring us that bring us this one this um uh, oh, I'm lost my words today this uh, bar thing and then go up to saturation and just bring that up to around 25% like that that'll just make the colors a bit more vibrant and um a bit more like toy toy sort of colors because toy colors are normally a bit brighter than um normal everyday things and um that is basically the effect like that and I'll show you the, the before so um, that's the before applying the blur and then applying the hue and saturation and that's just basically the trick to uh, the tilt shift toy effect so um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, it was just a quick thing I thought up for a tutorial and um, yeah if you liked it please give it a like and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And um, see you guys later.